what's going on everybody thanks for joining old broke Bo here i am the lone ranger today aka i'm on my own but we're out here at pettit bay marina in 10 color oklahoma check it out here's the ramp about to go man it's beautiful look at that isn't that pretty cool man there's a bird hey so i'm excited to get out here we're gonna go try to catch some large mouth maybe some small mouth who knows what's going to bite today but i can tell you this i'm happy to see you i wore a bunch of green today my plan was to get out there and get on the boat and scare the fish away um because i like the challenge so hopefully they can see me and they run the other way and they don't bite my lures no that'd be bad guys that's not what we're going for hey i'm gonna get the boat ready i'm gonna get out there i'll see y'all here in a little bit hit that subscribe if you haven't go check out highway 51 if you haven't and we'll see you out there Okay guys, man on the water, man, it's beautiful too. I mean, I'm talking, it's pretty clear. I would say eight to 10 foot of visibility. So I put some uh, more transparent lures on cause you know, the clearer the water, you know, you don't want to spook the fish. Um, so I'm going to go fish up here. I'm in Pettit Bay, keep in mind, see this little island. I'm going to start right there. Here I am right here. And let's see what happens. All right, no more yakking. Let's go get fishing. All right. Okay guys, mid-morning recap. I'm throwing a medium diver, skinny, cause you know, mid-summer they get uh, kinda, you need to finesse them a little bit, it gets this hot. Uh, I've had a couple bites. I've only been fishing for a few minutes, but let's keep it going. It is blue burst guys and a little bit chilly out here today. I've got something guys, I just don't know what yet. A drum. <laughs> Oh no, small mouth. No, it's a drum. It's a drum. <laughs> Nasty old drum. <laughs> okay. Well, these things are... We're gonna not put this on the boat. If y'all ever seen a drum before, here's a drum. Yep, that's a drum. So it looks like I might need to be changing spots. I'm still using a search bait. Trying to figure these guys out. But I think, I know I'm around fish. I know I'm around fish and I'm just kind of slow playing this. Um, I mean, yeah, so drum was a fish, but it's not what I'm looking for. So let's keep it going. Okay. Hopefully this isn't another drum, guys. Ah, uh, small mouth. 
for a real small mouth. Cool. Don't hook me, buddy. I'm gonna set you free. Okay, that's a good sign, guys. Getting around. Oh wait, that's a little large mouth. Holy cow, I am just not calling the fish very well today. Okay, it was just really light colored. Okay, here we go, let's keep it going. So number one fish that I would keep, right here. All right, here we go. Right here, guys, what I'm using. Black and yellow, Berkeley. It's a Fritz side seven. There we go. Okay, hey, real quick, guys. I was gonna show you what I'm doing. It's nothing special. See, when I'm fishing by myself, I can take time to do this more often, but all I'm doing is I'm, I found, I'm in a cove, okay? It's Pettit Bay. And I found deep water, and then I'm looking for secondary points, just like that When You can see it comes out. I'm looking for secondary points that come out closer to deeper water, because um, I know the fish are gonna be in deeper water this time of year with this water tent. So that's all I'm doing. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm, I've caught a couple. I don't really have a pattern yet, but they were two pretty quick. Um, so I'm gonna stay on that, but that's what I'm doing today. Okay, guys, don't overthink it. You know, I'm not gonna cruise down the whole bank I'm literally gonna look for secondary points or points that come close to deeper water. So that's what I'm doing. All right. Hey, hey. something jumping right there. Maybe I'll catch it. You. Okay, guys, I couldn't get the camera going, but I got another one here. So crazy. So let me just tell you this. I'm sitting in 16 foot of water and I'm casting up to about two foot of water. This guy came right by the boat. That's why I didn't get the camera going and bit this thing. Hey, hold on, buddy. You are feisty. He didn't get a chance to swim. Crazy. He came in 13 foot of water and bit this guy's right by the boat. So I'm just, I'm telling you that for an example. Don't get stuck up there fishing three, four foot deep all the time. I mean, I'm literally out here pretty good, guys. All right, all right. Another large mouth, cool. Hey, that's fun stuff, guys. They're not huge, but they're fun, and they are feisty this morning. Let's go get some more. Woo! All right, guys, I got another one right at the boat. Sorry about that. Um, that's why they're crazy right now. I haven't found any smallmouth yet. Everything's been drum and largemouth. Come on, buddy. Gotcha. Yeah, drum and largemouth. Um, and we're just getting started, guys. Woo, this one is gonna be tricky. Work on this, I'll get back to y'all here in a little bit. Tell me you can see this, guys. Look at this bait ball. Can you see that? Look at that. Unbelievable. I don't know if y'all can see that, man, but that's like a giant bait ball. I'm around so much bait. Just watch the water. So with the fish feeding that actively, you know, too much bait can be a bad thing, honestly. So I pulled out the buzz bait, see if we can trigger something out of them. Here we go. So cool. Look at my screen. See that? Yeah, that's not bushes. That's a shad spawn in the water. I'm sorry if you can't see it, but if you see the lighter colors, yeah, that's, there's a shad spawn happening right now. Like right now, that's really cool. Um, I don't know if y'all have ever seen that or not. I'm just, I'm halfway not fishing and just watching what's going on under the water. It's really, really cool. Yeah, definitely shad spawn. Um, it's just, it's, com the water's completely different color. I'm starting to come out of it. Check that out. That was all bait. If I had a throw net, I'd show you guys, but I don't. So crazy. Okay. I don't know if it's a fish or a big shack, guys. There's a little fish. Oh, there's a small mouth. Okay. Now that's a small mouth. All right, buddy. Don't get me. Ow, oh, you did it. You did it. I don't have my gloves on. I forgot. Just be nice, man. Okay. Be nice. Okay. I changed to a little lipless. Try to match the hatch a little bit. These little shad. And uh, 
couple cast layer, get a little small mouth. Pretty fish. Man, they're fun to catch, guys. Okay, I've caught a drum, two large mouth, and a small mouth. Let's keep it going. A catfish. Oh my gosh, what a crazy day. <laughs> okay, now I've caught a catfish. So, two large mouth, a drum, a small mouth, catfish. And I didn't tell y'all, but I actually hooked a gar earlier. They were feeding like crazy on these bait balls and I just snagged one. He got off though. Crazy, man. Look at that. <laughs> Alright guys, channel cat. See the spots on him? See if I can make him talk. They like to talk. Uh, he's not going to. He's trying to fin me though. These things right here, you do not want to get those in you. Alright, let's let him go. I want to hear something cool. Hey, if you never heard one of these uh, Shimano DL, uh, SLXs, check this out. Listen. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Catfish, drum. Golly, guys. Get in, get in. <laughs> All right. Got one, guys. Been a minute. Oh, let me move this boat. Oh, no. We got a crash. Hey. Netted him in the boat. How about that? <laughs> okay, smallmouth guys. Beautiful, beautiful bass. Yeah. All right. Mwah. Thank you. All right, let's let it go. I'm still on that square bill. Still kind of doing the same thing, guys. Pretty cool. Been a pretty interesting day. Yeah. Okay, guys. Right now, I'll show you what I'm fishing. So here's here's a secondary point that comes out. There's the main lake out there. There's a point. And then there's another secondary point that comes right there. So I'm fishing in between this. And the water depth right now is 16, 85 degrees. And you know, I'm just finding these spots and I'm still fishing this bait right here. Berkeley fret side, number seven. But I've learned I'm, I'm, real, I'm speeding it, then I stop, then I bump, bump, and then I reel. And that's when you're usually hitting it. So keep that in mind. All right, guys, <laughs> they're getting smaller. That's not what we want. <laughs> I'm way out here off of Main Lake Point. Look at this little guy. Look at his belly. <laughs> Look at this little bitty bass's belly. You can't tell me they're not eating good. Look at that. All right, little Brindley. This is, I'm gonna call this one Brindley, little bit. All right, here we go. I'm way out here in the middle of the lake on a big point. We'll see what happens. The lake's getting kind of busy, getting kind of choppy, but if you're still with me, thanks for watching. All right. I'm sitting in 50 foot of water, guys. Watch out, watch out. These guys are so feisty. God, they're eating good in the hood. They're not big, but guys, these suckers are so healthy, man. That's crazy. I'm sitting in 50 foot of water, no joke. All right, let's let him go. I got one with a little size, I think, finally, guys. I got him foul hooked one or the other. Yeah, foul hooked. Man, these suckers are so fat. They're just, just feeding on these shad, man. Oh, hold on. Gotcha. I am so lucky I haven't got a hook in me today. God, these things are crazy. I love it, love it. Look at the belly again, guys, so fun. I'm just out here fishing a point, knocking them out. Here we go. They're small, but they're fun. Baggers can't be choosers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and now a sand bass, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've caught them all. I mean, this has been a crazy day, guys. So, guys, if you don't know about fishing or you're just now watching this, you've never watched me before, all I do is come out here, go to these local lakes, come out here and have some fun, catch all sorts of fish, catfish, drum, smallmouth, largemouth, sand bass. <laughs> and it's just a blast, man. I'm just out here in 50 foot of water cranking it because I know I'm around bait and they're just, they're coming out of, the water's clear, 
So they'll come out of, you know, I'm casting into about 15 or 20 foot and they'll come up and get it. They can see it guys. They're feeding all day. Let's go. Woo! This is awesome. All right, here's literally what I'm fishing guys. See this point that comes out here? Okay, you see it? And then here's everything else around me. Give you a bird's eye view of where I'm fishing. Let's break the drone out. See if we can't get this thing going. It takes a minute to get it hooked up. Throw my DJI up in there. you can see that point that was pretty cool you see how it comes out and it kind of drops off we're around deep water i told you deep water points what we've been fishing hopefully y'all like that we're definitely not getting bigger guys oh my gosh how are they even biting this ah. i knew it was gonna happen ow the little one got me guys uh, so i thought i'd get one more to close out on but they had to shut off but hey what a fun day i mean random random day catfish small mouth large mouth drum sand bass <laughs> crazy nothing real big man i had an opportunity on one it got off you know it happens it, it actually was a decent one it's a small mouth i saw it spit the hook and hey that's part of it man um hey look thanks for joining i hope you have fun today you know broke the drone out a couple other things hope you enjoyed that and uh, i really appreciate y'all joining if you haven't had a chance to get over there to highway 51 tackle yet go check it out go see megan or casey they'll take care of you and uh if you're not fishing get out there guys it's so much fun it's 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 easy just go do it go do it all right i'm gonna get off here broke bow signing out hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time